Good morning. Today is April 14th. It's a little after 1 p.m. a Tuesday and it's been a month since we have all been working from home. I'm coming to you from Louisville Seminary and um, I was very inspired this morning by the president, Reverend Dr. Alton Pollard III's um, devotional at a meeting and I wanted to share it with you. It's on prayer by Mahatma Gandhi. What I'm also going to do is share a little presentation that I have put together. So here we go. Prayer has been the saving of my life. Without it, I would have been a lunatic long ago. My autobiography will tell you that I have had my fair share of the bitterest public and private experiences. They threw me into temporary despair, but if I was able to get rid of it, it was because of prayer. Now I may tell you that prayer has not been part of my life in the sense that truth has been. It came out of sheer necessity as I found myself in a plight when I could not possibly be happy without it. And the more my faith in God increased, the more irresistible became the yearning for prayer. Life seemed to be dull and vacant without it. I had attended the Christian service in South Africa, but it had failed to grip me. I could not join them in prayer. They supplicated God, but I could not do so. I failed egregiously. I started with disbelief in God and prayer, and until at a late stage in life, I did not feel like anything, I did not feel anything like a void in my life. But at that stage, I felt that as food was indispensable for the body, so was prayer indispensable for the soul. In fact, food for the body is not so necessary as prayer for the soul. For starvation is often necessary in order to keep the body in health, but there is no such thing as prayer starvation. In spite of despair staring me in the face on the political horizon, I have never lost my peace. In fact, I have found people who envy my peace. That peace, I tell you, comes from prayer. I am not a man of learning, but I humbly claim to be a man of prayer. I am indifferent as to the form. Everyone is a law unto himself, but there are some well-marked roads and it is safe to walk along the beaten tracks trod by the ancient teachers. I have given my personal testimony. Let everyone try and find that as a result of daily prayer, he adds something new to his life with which nothing can be compared. I was really inspired by this and so I wanted to share it with you and share our library, what the library students, um, workers and the staff have been creating. This is our new blog that you can visit and have all our digital library services, our students who have been so instrumental in reclaiming, renewing that purpose and uh, collaborating and coming up with new project ideas to keep new online services and make the e-services, e our digital library services like the e-books, so much more usable. I hope um, this inspires you and that uh, you will visit the library and engage with the library and learn new things, even though the library is no longer physical and is online. Blessings. <laughs>